Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Hola, como estas? Hey, I've already asked you guys that three times. I hope you guys are doing okay. And if you're not, go seek medical attention ASAP as of right now. If you're not feeling good. I just told you three times in a row, you're not feeling good. Yankees fans, let's talk about the positives of the Yankees getting swept by the Rays. Hey, the Yankees, in my opinion, are still the Yankees, the best team in Major League Baseball. When your name is not Jason Shreve, and when the Yankees starting rotation is pitching how we expect the Yankees starting rotation to pitch. I mean, like I said, you see when CeCe Sabathia is on, the whole rotation is on. He is the key to the Yankees rotation success. So let's look at the positives. John Carlos Stanton is hitting up, 5 for 5, a home run. In these past few games, we have seen John Carlos Stanton be John Carlos Stanton. John Carlos Stanton has a track record. You know by the end of the season what John Carlos Stanton is going to give your team. So he's consistent like that. And please, folks, can you stop the comparisons of Luis Severino and Domingo Herman? Luis Severino is a certified ace. Domingo Herman is, let's say, your second or third starter in your rotation projected. Okay? The comparisons I see of Domingo Herman and Luis Severino, I'm sorry, but it's kind of laughable to me. Luis Severino was dominating major league hitters when he was about, what, 19, 20? When the Yankees used to call him up for spring training, he was about, what, 19? He was getting Derek Jeter out. Derek Jeter praised him. So he was getting literally Hall of Famers out at a very young age. Sure, Jeter was up in age, but he was getting major league hitters out, even Alex Rodriguez, okay? Yes, I can see why people like Domingo Hormon. He has, what, a strikeout rank, one of the best in the majors. Uh, it's like near Justin Verlander. But, folks, comparing him, like I said, comparing him to a Luis Severino, that's just hyping him up way too much, okay? In my honest opinion, Jonathan Lewisinga, I like him more just for the simple fact that he's a flamethrower, and he has just a nasty breaking ball. It hits the dirt. Pitchers like that have a better success rate in the major leagues. And as you can see from Jonathan, he... Early in his career, I know it's just two starts, he's getting a whole bunch of double plays, grounders, left and right. And look at his poise. He gets into jams, and he works himself out of them. So it's a good problem to have. I'm not saying Domingo Herman is horrible, but I'm just saying I think Jonathan Lewisinger has a better future than Herman, in my own opinion. But hey, some people might disagree with me, but like I said, it's a good problem to have. I mean, the Yankees have so many good problems right now you might contemplate that the Yankees might not even trade for a starting pitcher, but they are, obviously. They want to trade for a left-handed pitcher because teams like the Red Sox have a low batting average against left-handed pitchers. So we know for a fact that the Yankees are going to go out and obtain a starting pitcher, preferably an ace or a pitcher that is under control for years to come that has a stuff. So, like I said, John Carlos Stanton is about to get on a tear. He has a good track record of doing so i predict as of now with the improvements stanton has made in his stance i guess it's a mind thing for him because he just keeps making changes with his stance and I, like i said it's just a mental thing he just gets on tears when he doesn't i predict john Cole stanton will stay consistent at this point and really carry the yankees with gary sanchez being out that's the positive of let's say the Yankees getting swept and Gary Sanchez hitting the DL. I suspect that John Carlos Stanton, as of now, is just going to put on his big boy pants and carry the load of, let's say, what Gary Sanchez could have contributed if he was on the Yankees. So expect John Carlos Stanton to heat up. I also suspect that the Yankees will go out and trade for an offensive player that can produce similar to Gary Sanchez because we don't know as of yet if Gary Sanchez is going to be out for like two months. But if he is, the Yankees, look for the Yankees to trade for a player that has pop in his bat that can contribute when it comes to runs batted in. So expect that. The Yankees are going to make moves for starting pitching and offense. It's just inevitable if Gary Sanchez is out for two months. I don't see Austin Romine sustaining being hot for that long. Okay, people are making out uh, Austin Romine to being the second coming of Christ. Okay, he has days off. He's well rested. If he's catching long periods of time, he's just going to come back to earth. That's how I look at it. And the Yankees know that as well. 
And I expect the Yankees to obtain a offensive player as well. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. It, we all know John Cole Stanton is just going to get on a tear, but do you see John Cole Stanton filling in for Gary Sanchez now, just producing at a godlike level like he did in his NL MVP season? I think so. I think John Cole Stanton is about to just have a monster year. He's just going to finish off with a monster year. But leave your opinions in the comment section below, Yankees fans. And do you think that the Yankees are going to try to trade for an offensive player to replace Gary Sanchez if he's out for two months? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from WorldwideNews.com. Check you out next time.